everybody. We're back. My next guest tonight recently appeared at the U.S. Comedy Arts Festival in Aspen, Colorado, where he won the jury prize for his one-man show entitled If I. Please welcome the very funny Dimitri Martin. Thank you, audience. I find that whenever I investigate a smell, the answer is always bad. It's never, what is that? Oh, muffins. It's always, oh, not again. I like to challenge myself in small ways. Like if I'm on the street and somebody asks me for directions, I give them to them, but I try to do it without using my hands. Because it's hard. But then I just end up looking sneaky. It's like, where's the bank? It's over there. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Hurry. I think employee of the month is a good example of when a person can be a winner and a loser at the same time. <laughs> You're the best, kind of. If you are lost and you have a map, people are inclined to help. But I find that it's a different story when you have a globe. Can you tell me where the mall is? <laughs> oh, brown? Okay. I think it's fascinating how sometimes the opposite of a negative is also a negative. Like, pickpocketing is bad. But I have found that what's also bad is putting things in people's pockets. <laughs> so pickpocketing and its opposite, putpocketing, <laughs> are both bad. My rule is stay away from pockets, unless they're mine. Vests are all about protection. The life vest protects you from drowning. And the bulletproof vest protects you from getting shot. And the sweater vest protects you from pretty girls. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm cold just right here? <laughs> I just got some new pajamas with pockets in them. Which is great because before that, I used to have to hold stuff when I slept. <laughs> but now I'm like, where's my planner? <laughs> oh, there it is. Keep sleeping. All right, thanks. Nice. It's great. I like fruit baskets because a fruit basket enables you to mail somebody fruit. If you just mail somebody some apples, they're like, what the hell is this? But if you put the apples in a basket, they're like, this is nice. Thank you. I think an eating contest is really just the beginning of a crapping contest. Camouflage is fascinating to me. It's the best clothing pattern because it's so dynamic. When you're in the woods, it makes you blend in. But when you're not, it's just the opposite. It's like, hey, there's an idiot. But in the woods, it's like, is there an idiot out here? All the idiots and trees look the same. Why are there no positive mysteries? It's always negative. Who stole the diamond? Who killed the butler? How about, hey, who made cookies? <laughs> Somebody cleaned my room. <laughs> I'm writing a book right now, I'm really excited. It's about a high school marching band that stays together after they graduate. <laughs> They don't break up. And they tour the country. The title of the book, my working title is, Never Get Laid. 
This summer, I want to go to the beach and bury metal objects that say, get a life on them. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Hey, that was hilarious. That was great. Dimitri Martin, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. That was a really funny joke. our show. I do you want to thank all my guests? That was hilarious. Dimitri Martin, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Good thanks. job. Thanks a lot. Uh, big, big thanks. Isn't he lovable? Al Roker. You're beloved, Al. Thank you. Beloved. Thank you. Big thanks to Anna Gasteyer for coming by, and of course, uh, Jimmy Bavino and the Max Weinberg. Seven, six, and for last call. Carson Daly. We'll see you tomorrow.